Good morning everyone, it's Pastor Tim Hammy at First Summit God in Burlington, Kansas on April the 30th. It is so good to be with you again. I hope that you enjoyed the time with Darren Stroud, the uh, Kansas DYD District Youth Director. And, and uh, you'll see these from time to time when I bring a speaker into church. I'm going to encourage them to do a devotional, a week of devotionals for me, which just gives you an opportunity to hear someone other than myself. I know you enjoy them, so settle down, but it's, it's so exciting. This week I want to talk, talk to you about a simple subject of take note of this. Take notes. You know, if you, when you think of something important or you, you look at something and you're going to write it down on a note. That's how, you know, or string around your finger. You remember that something is important. Well, I want you to understand that we need to take note of this. We need to, take, we need to pay attention to this. We need to pay attention to Scripture. We, this is divine revelation. This is the Word of God. Take note of the Word of God as it speaks to you. Listen to this. One day a professor was discussing a particular complicated concept. A, a pre-med student rudely interrupted and asked, why do we have to learn this pointless information? I, 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 as working with in the school system, I hear this, we're never going to use that again. He said, and the professor said, to, to save lives, the professor responded quickly and continued to lecture. A few minutes later, the stu students, same student spoke up again. So how does physics save lives, he persisted. It keeps the ignoramus <laughs> like you out of medical school, replied the professor. There are some people who shouldn't go to medical school. There, this doesn't mean, however, that they shouldn't stop learning about good things in school or college that pertain to meaning life. life way, likewise, we as Christians can't say, oh, I know the whole Bible. You gotta understand, I went to Bible college, I went to a great school, Trinity Bible College, and, and, and I, I did four years, you know, graduated with a BA, uh, and, and I remember the first day I arrived on campus and we had freshman orientation, and, and I had to take the Bible entrance exam. I mean, I'm going to study to be a pastor. I got the crowd, you know, the the halo because I'm an angel, you know, and, and, and you know, I'm called. I'm 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 set apart. God has called me to be a pastor. I should know the whole Bible from Genesis to Revelation and I, every book in between because oh, I'm a pastor. And, and, and so I got in there. I sat down and took the test. I failed. I failed that test. But it doesn't stop. It doesn't give me excuses to stop. You know it doesn't say, well, you know, I, I failed. I took four years of Bible college and I continue to learn from the Word of God that things that challenge my life and, and that I can come to you on Facebook or YouTube or Vimo and say, hey, the Word of God is living and active and it changes people's lives. Listen to this passage of Scripture from 2 Timothy 3, 13-17. While you evil men and impostors will go from bad to worse, deceiving and being deceived. But as for you, continue in what you have learned and become convinced of. Because you know those from whom you learned it, and how from infancy you have known the Holy Scripture, which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All Scripture is God-breathed, and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness, so that the man of God may be thoroughly be equipped for every good work. Listen to this. Continue. It says this. Continue in what you've learned. Hopefully you'll learn some scripture today and this week. If so, continue in it. Continue to pay attention to the word of God. Read it. Study it. Hide it in your heart so that you will not sin against God. Psalms 119.11. Sin will keep you from the Bible, or the Bible will keep you from sin. So this next week, this week that we're going to be dealing with, take note of this. I want you to understand that we're going to, we're going to deal with four different topics, and, and some of it I'll, I'll have to compact for you. But we're going to talk about take note of your listening, take note of your speaking, take note of your anger, take note of your sin. So as we get ready for this week, I want you just to begin to think... And as we study God's Word, and, and as we learn from it, as it challenges us to, to take note of this. 
So let me pray for you. Lord, I pray right now for every single person. I pray that you give them a great day. Help them learn from your word. Help them to dive deep. And Lord God, may they take note of what they're learning. But most of all, I pray that, Lord, that you give them the opportunity to share the gospel with somebody this week. In your name, amen. God bless you. Have a great Monday.